Good morning, friends. Somewhere in the western sky, June 22nd, 5.30 p.m. a.m. Couldn't be p.m. sun be up. Well, a lot of things to talk about today. We're going to talk about one in particular, though. Obama. Obama. Man, I've listened to this guy for the last three years. Every time he turned the television on, <laughs> there he is. A picture of him or something. Some kind of resemblance, in other words. He knows what he's doing. He's very smart. He's got all these organizations working for him. Spending our money, of course, to pay him. But that ain't new. He gave $3 billion to Brazil, you know, so they could dig for oil off their coast. He, hell, he even promised them that we'd buy it. Never mind what we got, Dakota, North Dakota, Canada offering it to us almost free. Look at North Dakota, for example, 3% unemployment, jobs for everybody. Good paying jobs, McDonald's, $15 an hour, I've heard. Well, you won't see that around Georgia. Time to wake up Uncle Deal, Governor Deal, maybe. But the thing I really want to get into is some of the promises I've heard Obama make. Wants to fundamentally change America. Well, he's done that. We got military getting out of the military as fast as they possibly can. I don't think we're going to have one next year. Military, that is. Do you notice how Panetta's always making excuses? Oh, my God, if they cut the budget. Uh, we'll have to downsize and get smaller, blah, 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 blah. He ain't worth crap. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Happy people having it their way. Right now, anyway. But they got to face their maker, and they ain't going to enjoy it. Well, some of them don't even believe in Sodom and Gomorrah, of course. Heck, some of them don't even believe in the Bible, period. Most of them, I would say. But getting back to the promises. Fundamental change in America. He's done that. Between the gays, the illegals, the drones, the trillions spent, him saying we're lazy. Are you lazy, American? Are you an, a lazy, an American that's lazy? Hmm. Do you appreciate him saying that to us and about us? Oh, yeah. Then there's, oh, no, I don't believe America is any exception to the rule. They're not ex we're not exceptionable. Gee, I thought we were. I thought, that, I thought all the other countries looked up to us as their police guardian. Hmm. And then there's that other thing he promised. Uh, I can't change the law, and I've got to represent everybody. Well, who the hell is he representing now? He's changed the law completely. To be a constitutional lawyer, must have had something to do with him wanting to be president, because he damn sure stepping on the Constitution of the United States of America, blatantly. And where's Congress during all of this? <laughs> you know, the people opening the doors for the other people. Too damn lazy to open their own doors. Now, I have to agree with him there. Congress is lazy. And they make laws and laws and laws and laws. And hell, we can't even enforce the ones we got on the books now. Yep. America's got to get better. She's a little sick right now. But the healing is coming. We're not going to put up with this crap. And that's all it is, folks, is crap. Big C, capital R, capital A, P, crap. Do I hate Obama? No, I don't hate him. I sure don't like his ways. They're un-American, just like Eric Holder. Un-American. He told us we're lazy, too. Hmm. 
group's got to go. And they will go sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. Well, looks like they're gone. All right. God bless America. May God continue to bless the United States of America. And y'all have a great day.